ang mga problema na hinarap natin ngayon Ang katapat ay hasya, hasya ay may solusyon Ang lugat ng problema ay bigyan ng solusyon It baffles me that we as Filipinos are constantly grappling with the issue of Filipino identity. I, I, our identity would be no crisis if we simply look towards our very first Filipinos, the indigenous peoples of our archipelago. For long before the invaders reached our shores, we had thriving, highly articulate and innovative tribes people already protecting the land, the islands and the sea that make up Philippine territory. We should look to our indigenous people once again, not only to find the seeds of Filipino identity, but to guide us towards sustainable and, re re and resilient stewardship of our land and our resources. Indeed, we talk about today uh, these bills that are pending in the Senate as well as in the uh, Congress uh, to adopt measures to recognize and respect the declaration of our ICCs and IPs of conserved areas within ancestral domains, promoting their rights to manage, maintain, and develop natural resources through indigenous systems of knowledge and practice. I am certain that this bill will finally become law. Firstly, we have finished the hearings and I, um, as chairman, can be counted upon for a technical working group at the soonest opportunity. Naantala lamang ng uh, COVID, alam naman natin, nagka uh, buhol, buhol yung iba nating mga meeting. Ngunit uh, maliwanag na kinakailangan nating gawin ito sa lalong madaling panahon. The ICCs will mark areas within ancestral domains as special conserved areas and will themselves identify the critical areas for protection. The right to free possession and ownership of land is a fundamental human right. And finally, and for all time, we should declare that IP rights are all human rights. And it is about time that we recognize that. The ICC bills also establish a repository of information with the BMB or Biodiversity Management Bureau of the DENR. However, it is the NCIP that could be the administrator of such. The NCIP further states that a distinction must be made between ancestral domain and ancestral land. As uh, clearly stated in Section 3 of the second chapter of the IPRA law. Again, I uh, uphold that intervention. There is also a sound comment regarding the environmental impact assessments, which I believe should have a general reference under the Philippine Environmental Impact Statement System. And as chairperson of the Committee on Cultural Communities, I believe that the enactment of the ICA law will not only bring us fame and fortune in the international world of uh, IP, but more importantly, will finally right the historic wrong done to our first and original Filipinos. Today, we confront COVID-19. And like all disasters, it once again hits our poor and marginalized indigenous people harder than many Filipinos living in the centers of town, in the cities, where easy access to information, public health, and vaccination is available. Once again, we have done in our tribal peoples. Already, we have inflicted upon them the uh, original Filipinos, this social inequity. Let us not add and prolong the historical injustice of rending asunder ancestral domains, lands, and other assets. For when all is said and done, the, in the indigenous people are indeed the first Filipinos with primordial and sacred rights. Count on me to uphold and support all these initiatives. Congratulations to all. My best wishes. 
Thank you very much from the Senate via Ilocos Norte.